sit still. These are my adventure helmets. I've owned the Scorpion ADX-1 for a few years and I've just bought a few months ago uh, the Nishua Adventure Carbon. And uh, I wanted to, maybe someone uh, was looking at a new hel helmet, uh, looking for a new helmet and was considering one of these helmets. So uh, here's my thoughts on these. I've had the Scorpion for a long time. Uh, I like it a lot, but it's for a round head shape. And I have a, a, a European head shape, uh, more like an oval head shape. So there's a bit of a pressure point on my forehead. Uh, if you have a round head shape, the Scorpion is a great helmet, but uh, the Nishua is more for, uh, suited for my head shape, the more oval or European head shape. The Nishua can only be bought at uh, Lewis.de in Germany, apparently. Uh, it's a great helmet. But the reason you should pick this helmet is the weight, the weight difference. It's like more or less a, around half a kilo, 500 grams lighter than the Scorpion. But it comes with a cost. It, uh, the price is uh, the same. Uh, well, I paid the same for both these uh, helmets. There's a Scorpion ADX2 out now. Uh, I haven't tried that one on. Uh, because I've had, this is the second Scorpion helmet I have, uh, I own, and it's uh, the same thing with the, the round head shape. And it, uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's annoying after uh, a full day of riding, and even sometimes it gives me a headache. Uh, it could be also the strain on my neck, but I guess it's mostly the pressure points. Uh, there's two of them in there. There's the one on uh, on my forehead, and then there's one from the um, earphones from the Cardo Pack Talk. Now it's on here. I don't feel it in here. I can't feel it at all, at all. And there's no pressure points at all in this helmet for me. But there is on the the Scorpion. That's why I need a new helmet because uh, yeah, well, I've been sweating in this a lot. But uh, the big thing was uh, the if you if I ride it like six hours or seven hours in a day, uh, I will get a headache. There's a lot of features on the Scorpion that's not on the Nishua. There's a few things on the Nishua that's stupid. Uh, it annoys me. The peak has these big holes and it lets the sun through. Guess it depends on where on the planet you live, but. Uh, it's pretty much like uh, I live in Denmark, so uh, the where where the sun sits uh, uh, on the on the sky goes straight through these holes and into my eyes. And normally, if uh, if the sun gets in my eyes with this one, I just look down, just tilt my head a bit, and this uh, blocks out the sun. This one does not. Um, and if it gets really annoying, or there's a lot of sun in the summertime, I'll just put down these um, sunglasses and they also add weight to the helmet like the uh, the modular modular thing here it's cool i really love it but i wanted to save the weight because of the strain on my neck and the fit of this and I, because of the strain and the fit i really like this helmet uh, so if i was going on a multi-day long trip tomorrow i would wear this uh, because of these differences but i really miss some of the features over here same price i just wanted to try something new so you want the lightweight pick this one you want the features pick this one your choice